that is cool, man. Check it out. Very Stargate-ish. All right, here we go. Woohoo! Oh, welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do some frigate shopping to start off with, and then we're going to jump back into uh, the main storyline and continue progressing with that. So we have three, four, five, six, looks like six potential frigates uh, for sale. Um, so let's go, let's talk to this one first. This, let's see what this frigate is. I think this is a combat frigate. Okay, let's answer our thingy here. We are in the three-star Viking system. Okay, so this is a C-class frigate. And it is an industrial. Uh, all right, so here's what I've learned about how to shop for these frigates. Um, this is a guide that I've been following, and, and I'll put the URL to the guide in the video uh, when I edit it. But this is what I've learned. And, and this is following this guide. I've watched a couple other videos, and I've seen you know, a little bit of variation in people's opinions, but I'm just following this guide because this stuff is, is very complicated to try and figure out, at least it is for me. Um, I don't really want to take the time to try and figure it out. Uh, and so I'm just going to, you know, follow somebody else's guide that's already done all of the legwork for it. Okay, so here's the deal. According to this guide, um, it's basically saying you generally want to find C-class frigates. That it's not worth it to pay a lot more money for an S-class frigate if you even find one. Because if you buy a C-class frigate with the right stats from the get-go, once you level it up, it's generally going to be a better S-class frigate in the end than one that you could find in the wild, so to speak. Okay, so based upon that, we will probably, you know, stick to that for the most part. So what you're looking for, first of all, is a C-class frigate. You want to make sure that the frigate doesn't have any negative traits. Um, and so these are traits. A frigate can get up to five traits by the time it's fully leveled. And if you have, if you start off with a negative trait, then that negative trait will eventually go away, but the frigate will not have enough levels after that to get the fifth positive trait. Okay, so so basically we don't want any negative traits at all to start with. Next thing you want to look at is the fuel. You want to make sure that the frigate does not require more than 12 tons of fuel. If it requires more than 12 tons of fuel, it takes too much fuel. Okay, so 12 is the is the max. This one has nine, so we're good. Then what you want to do is you want to take and you want to add up the stats and you want to subtract from that whatever uh, traits it currently has. And if the frigate has three or less or fewer expeditions, then you want that number to be a minimum of eight. If it has six or fewer expeditions or up to six, you want that number to be 14. If it's if it's gone on seven expeditions, um, then according to this guide, it's saying not to buy it at all. Okay, so again, if you are an expert in this, you may not completely agree with that. That's fine. I'm just following, um, you know, this 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 particular guide. So if we do this, we add this up. So this is 22, and then we subtract 15 from that. That leaves us with seven points. So this is like one point shy of the minimum of what the guide's recommending. <laughs> Uh, so based upon that, we're going to go ahead and decline uh, this frigate. Okay, I mean it's it's right on the very border, so we probably would have been fine if we did get it, but we'll we'll try and stick to the guide as much as possible. Very good. Now let's. Uh, I'm just backing up a little bit here. So we have. A frigate here. Let's let's look at this one next. I think this is a fighter. We don't have any contraband on us, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Inspect frigate. 
Okay, it's got two negative traits. We're automatically rejecting it. Okay, this one is also for sale for hire. It has one negative trait. So, I mean, it's got pretty high stats, but again, you know, we're we're doing the long haul with this one. We want to get them pretty clean at the beginning and just have them level up and get good as they level up with us. Okay, that one has a negative trait and it's a support frigate. Um, most of the guides that I read said don't bother with support frigates. They're not worth it because really all they do is save you fuel and fuel's not that expensive. All right, so this guy has advanced maintenance drones, damage reduction. Oh, this guy's a B, but he's already been on 14 expeditions, and the guide says anything that's o over six, don't mess with. He does have the right fuel thingy, though. Um... Yeah, but no, plus it's 4.6 million. That's really expensive. I'd rather get a Class C and pay 1.5 million for it and level it up and make it, like, really, really good in the long run. Okay, this is a trader. It's Class C. It has no negative traits. It's under 12. It's a total of 19 minus 15, which leaves only four points. So not good enough, according to our guide. Okay. Okay, class C, no negative traits. It's got a total of 19 points, but so that's only going to leave us four. So it's just too low. Hmm. I'm starting to think this. If we continue to stick to this guide, strictly to this guide, it might take us well to find what we're looking for. Uh, this is a trader. Uh, it has no negatives, but not enough points. Yeah, this guide's really making a is very picky. <laughs> I'm almost thinking maybe we should have taken that that first industrial that we looked at. Yeah, I think we already checked that fleet over there. Okay, so this is a trade specialist. It has no negative traits. It uses less than 12 fuel. It has a total of 22 points. If we subtract, and, and three expeditions are less. So if we track 15 from 22, that's seven. We're one shy of the eight that it says we're supposed to. Oh, man. Do I want to be that picky? <laughs> I I think I will be for the rest of this episode. But if I, you know, if I check another half dozen of these and we're still not finding what we need, we might, we might um, ease up on the restrictions a little bit. So let's just keep checking this, this group here. Okay, this has a negative trait, so we're going to reject it. In fact, it even had a minus three stat. Yeah, that ship sucks. This is a Class B. It's been on 11 expeditions. Um, it's got two positives. But, yeah, okay. Nope, we're not going to take it. Class C, nine tons of fuel, but it's got two negative stats. And a, a negative, a negative up there too. Yeah. Nope. Not interested. Class C, but it has a negative. And it's been on a lot of expeditions too. Yeah, it's an industrial. It's class C, but it's got a negative. Combat. 
Class C, no negatives. It's been on six expeditions. So, so okay, so do, 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 do fuel costs, you're not supposed to count fuel costs. So we've got 29 points. If we subtract 15 from 29, we end up with 14. No, 16. No, 14, yeah, 14. This fits the bill, you guys. This fits the bill. Okay, let's double check. We're good on fuel because it uses less than 12 fuel. Six is the maximum expeditions the guide says to go with. And it says if it has up to six. Well, what it actually says, if it's gone on less than seven expeditions, which is the same as up to six, then add up the stats. So we have 29, subtract 15. That leaves us 14. And if, if it has at least 14 points left over, then get it. I think that's it. All right, we got our first combat ship, you guys. 1.9 million. That took a while. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Class C, no negatives. Um, it's only been on five expeditions. And we have a total of 27 points. 27 minus 15. is 13. We're one point shy on this one. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to get it. I'm just going to do it. Okay, so that gives us two combat frigates. Okay, so we have one science vessel and two combat vessels. So probably because of that. Well, let's let's do this one anyways, because we'll we have the greatest chance for the best return. So that's our original science vessel. We might end up actually getting rid of it at some point, but we're gonna keep it for now. And um, so that gives us a two-star fleet rating with all three of those together. But I think we'll be okay. Let's let, send them on their way. All right, there they go. If we go back now and look at our fleet command module, we should see all three ships on the mission. Very cool. Very cool indeed. All right, guys, it's time for us to start the storyline. Let me drop a couple things off here. We got this. What is it? Let's go back to the system that has the main storyline in it, which is this one here. And we'll do our thing. And here we go. Heading to the ley line source. Object of interest. I don't see any object of interest. the heck man oh and you know what speaking of objects of interest let's burn these really quick sometimes these are useful sometimes they're not so useful this is useful we should get stuff from this 412 ionized cobalt nice That's new. Or no, we've seen this before. A containment device. We blow it up and we get Marsh Dallas Sprouts. Worth 145,000. Okay, well, there you go. Now let's get 
on to the ley line source. Okay, so this is just an approximate location, so we need to look around for something. Oh, look at that, there's a freighter over there. We need, we need to go check that out too. It's a chance for another salvaged frigate module or other good stuff. All right, here we go. Pillars of Hoag at something, at something. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps? Some gateway through which I'll find Artemis? Built in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else, a story, a vision. It's already burning itself into my eyes. Activate. The Traveler Arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos, they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through it. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the final, uh, the price of the final truth. Witness glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient Traveler. I see glyphs in my mind. Part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. What does that mean? Okay. Uh, escape or destroy the sentinels. Oh, they're they're coming in to mix it up. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of him. And then where's the guy that spawns in more? Reinforcements arriving. Leave the area or hide before reinforcements arrive. You know what? If they want to mess with us, we're going to show them the error of their ways. Where? Over here. Okay, kill the healers first. Kill these guys. And then these guys. Load. Okay. Pick up the thingies. Now we'll get the dog next. Elite Sentinel Force. Healers first, and you too. Here comes the dog. All right, dude, take some of this. Load. There we go. Okay, that takes care of wave three. Oh, no, it doesn't. Now it does. Let's go, man. Let's go. Bring it. Bring it, baby. Sentinel Walker, huh? Okay. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. After we reload. Alright, where's the walker? There he is. We want to get the healers out of the way before we even start on the walker. Oh, he tried to jump on me. 
How rude. Okay, take one of these. Ow. Reload. And the final wave. I, if you're wondering why I'm not using my my scatter blaster thing it's just because I don't have it fully upgraded yet so it's not really that powerful my shotgun's mega powerful though hold still okay. okay healers Spawners. There's the big boy. Okay, we need to uh, kill this guy quick and get some shield. There we go. Okay. Ow. the dog out of the way first. Let me get some shields back. Okay. Take your legs out. Shoot your walker brain. Dude, paralysis thingy. Like... Totally OP. I just keep him stun locked, basically. And he's dead. Uh oh. Um. That's gonna make it kind of interesting to get the Walker brains. And we also encumbered a nest now, too. Okay, we should get... Yeah, we got two brains. Okay. That's quite the cliff. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there are any more canisters around. I think we picked them all up. All right, so perform a scan to detect portal ley lines. Ley line link detected tracing to source. Um, that way. Over there. Okay. Let's fly over to this freighter first, though. And see if we can get a salvage frigate module or maybe a bulkhead upgrade or something else. Nifty. Nifty spifty. Salvage data. I've done this enough to know pretty much where they all are now. Heat capacitor. Well, that kind of sucks. There we go. Multi-tool expansion slot. That doesn't suck. We'll take it. Fusion cores. Okay. Banned weapons. Okay, those are going to get us in trouble. Very good. Um, let's go do this first because we have a chance of getting a, um, a multi-tool. Well, we, we will get a multi-tool. It's just a matter of is it a good one or not. And then we'll continue the quest after that. Okay. So let's um, throw that up. There we go. 
hard frame engine. I don't know what that's used for, but it is a crafting item of some sort. Okay, let's shut these dudes down. Warning, battery note exposed, battery archive status vulnerable. Um, Sentinels, oh. I guess they're already disabled. But I did that in a different system. You mean that disables them across the whole galaxy? That doesn't make sense. Well, let's look at this. Oh, that's one of those royal... Those royal um, multi-tools. It's a Class C, though, which sucks. I'm going to grab it anyways, because this, this is supposed to be a... Um, Kind of a rare item or a, a unique item. Boundary node exposed. Access logs. Imposter detector override code. The day we first gained flesh, metal though it was, it was the day we began to fail. This is the voice of the hive. The Atlas turned its dreams towards fiction. It began to create worlds in which it would no longer be visible. In these worlds, we too gained shape, but we were given no new protocols, no new instructions. Huh. Boundary note exposed. Okay, well. Um. I'm a little confused because how can they already be disabled if they were attacking us earlier? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's weird. Anyways. Here's where it is. Let's get going on the quest. Corvac's word for dangerous. Corvac's word for design. As I approach the structure, I feel that same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. Activate. The Traveler Sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of omnipotence. The Traveler asked the Alice how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life, they did not wish to die before they saw them all, and the Atlas answered. One big metric ass ton number. More than they could be seen in any lifetime. It was impossible to explore the universe before the Traveler died. Witness glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient Traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of the code. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels, yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Okay, so now what do we do? Locate the final glyph set. Uh, press C. Over there. Okay. Detected. Disaster. Element. Everything here is tinted with that same red, that same unobservable, unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. The Traveler, a purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first Traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. This was not what they hoped for. 
What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see at, see it see it all? If you were alone, you would one day something. I just looked at too quickly. Uh, the first traveler cursed Alice and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it will be for the travelers to witness. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. Okay, locate and activate a portal. Um... Scanner's recharging. I think I did that a little too soon. Come on, Scanner, hurry up. There we go. And we have a hit that way. Okay, let's go. Hostile scan. Uh, we need, we're going to have to go up in the space to get to this one. You do not want to mess with me, man. And my wingman just showed up, too. Again? Come on, guys. There we go. Okay. Oh, nice, you guys. Our very first portal. Amazing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna actually put a little base down here, just a box uh, with a. Um, what's gonna call it? A terminus in it, so we can we can warp back here. Okay, let's do this. Let's call our freighter over here. And I think that what do I need to make a base computer? Chromatic metal. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's jump up to the freighter really quick and grab some chromatic metal while we're here too let's grab this stuff off of our starship um everybody's in good shape right no, no damage oh you're damaged okay i think everything else is good Oh, right, we need to switch back to the other multi-tool. Uh, that's here and here. Get back to our, our good multi-tool. Okay, nothing damaged there. All right, let's just drop all this stuff off in here. I'll worry about sorting it all out later. That was really nice that we found those. And um, we want to grab some chromatic metal just grab a stack of it and then head on back down all right let's build a base computer here going to name this um, here. Take a screenshot. There. Uh, this planet's called Sizzlick Portal. There we go. Beautiful. And yeah, like I said, I'll come back here off camera. I just put up a, a, a box and a biofuel generator and do a um a teleport okay let's check this out traveler anomaly confirmed breach 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 
I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gate gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice, a leap of faith that somewhere out there in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. Input the glyphs. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart. The call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Oh, that is cool, man. Check it out. Very Stargate-ish. All right, here we go. Woohoo! What's gonna happen next? Um. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, you guys. What kind of? That's a full ball deposit. What's that noise? What's happening? Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. Atlas protocol initiated. Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. What? What does that mean? Okay. Speak with the Atlas. I've seen this dude before in the Beyond update. Except for I think he looks different. Can we get something from that? Oh, nice. It warps up. Aren't we supposed to be able to get other stuff if we walk around this place? Did that do anything? Just a pretty light show? Is that all we get? That's crazy. Okay. Well, we don't seem to be able to get anything from running over those. Maybe we got to talk to the dude first. All right, I'm coming. Now let's interface. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Um, let's let's be polite. How's it going? Hello world. <laughs> Hello world. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. <clears throat> we once we were once travelers. We once aspired to be more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows silent and silent. No, grow still and silent. It awaits a command. Um... I don't think I want to wipe the system. Let's do a diagnostic. It has been one humongous number of years since the last diagnostic. 64% of worlds operating within expected parameters. What about the other 36? 2.6 million actionable observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine sentinel status error, da da da. Subroutine glass status operational, 4,182 breach attempts. Traveler status operational, 458 critical error warnings. Exo mine structural integrity compromise. Immediate repairs required. Initiate personality interface, yes or no? Yeah, sure. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. 
the Atlas danced before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to scream, rejoice, submit. Um, let's scream. Ah! I try to scream, but I have no mouth, no form. Uh, okay. That was weird. Restore point saved. Where in the heck are we? Oh, we're in Urkelt. Urkelt uh, 17 to be precise. Okay. Oh, hey, look. Two hundred forty-two thousand big ones. Extra suit initialization in progress. Locate your starship. I want to do some scanning, though, man. I've already scanned the crab dudes. Hey, okay, where is my ship? It's uh this way. Any more red dots? Two hundred forty two thousand. 242,000. There's still more red dots there. 151,000. We got you, right? Oh, look at that dude. That's cool looking. I like the look of that guy. He looks like a gargoyle. Um, any... Here we go, flyers. One fifty-one. Okay, where's our ship? This way. Good thing we have hazard protection on. Any more red dots? Okay. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the episode here, and we're going to just pick up right where we left off. I'm going to jump in my ship. Hop back out to make a save point. I es oh, I escaped to my ship out of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? Um, yeah, we're, we're working on Artemis's quest. Is that true? Or is it just a lie I tell myself for the kind of thought a noble person might have? Artemis was in need of assistance, but did I really risk my life just for them? There is something more, some other yearning. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. Okay, um... You are not Gazette alone. The signal appears to be coming from this very system, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have in transmission? Okay, now we have a restore point. Okay, guys, so yeah, we're going to wrap up the episode here, um, and we will pick up right where we left off. 
and it looks like we have our echo trace thingy marked too and then we'll uh continue from there so guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode see ya don't see any more red dots where's the red dots we need more red dots <laughs>